Today's video is weird. Don't get me wrong, I'm really excited. In fact, this is the most excited I've been for a video in a while. And it's because I get to share something with you that people don't get to share often. The purpose of my channel is twofold. First, to give you some awesome basic cooking videos that sometimes may be a little bit outside the box, but in general, will give you some really good recipes and cooking techniques that you should master yourself. And sometimes more importantly to me is introducing people to new foods. Today is one of those second things. You're probably never gonna cook this at home and I would never expect you to, but you just might get a kick out of it. This thing is a beast. But it's weird looking. It resembles a certain male part that shall not be named. Because once you see it, you're gonna know. It's called the gooey duck clam. Now I've seen my fair share of gooey duck clam in the day. Clams, not. And this is without a doubt the longest one I've ever seen. Normally, gooey duck clams embarrass all the other clams. This gooey duck clam embarrasses all the other gooey duck clams. This is one of the longest living animals in the animal kingdom. And yes, while people laugh at it because it's got somewhat of a unique look to it, it's actually a really cool species. And if you like shellfish, it tastes great. It's actually considered a delicacy in many places. So the fact that I'm holding a clam that could very well be 20, 30 years old is incredible. I've heard people call these a lot of different things. There's always the classic pe clam or the sea <laughs> the bleep button is going to star in this video. In fact, this entire video should just be a giant bleep. Just cut the entire thing out altogether, just censor the whole thing. But seriously, this is a really great tasting clam. I'll show you how to break it down, I'll taste it, and I'll try to tell you what it tastes like, because it really is special. So maybe I shouldn't know this, but if you soak these things in water, they get even longer. And they'll actually start squirting a bunch. So let's get cooking. We'll start by detaching the clam from its shell. I just have to gently come up along the shell with my knife here. I'd also be wary of using a really nice chef's knife to do this kind of thing because it can dull your knife really fast. The clam will grip really hard to the edges of the shell, so just make sure you cut right up against it. I'll flip it around and continue to trim through the muscles on the other side. Once I get to a certain point, I can break this open. Finish cutting it off of the shell and go ahead and discard these shells. You won't need them, unless you maybe wanna get super creative and serve them right out of the shell itself. We'll keep this collar sort of part right here, but we're gonna go ahead and trim off that bottom part. This big sack right here is useless to us, so we'll throw this out as well. Now we're sort of left with two parts, the actual clam and some of those inner parts. But before going any further, we have to lightly boil and then blanch this in order to really loosen up this skin right here, which will allow us to then pull off this outer layer and reveal the very smooth clam underneath. I'll pour some boiling water over my clam and allow this to sit for only a minute or so. We're not trying to cook the clam at all. We're actually just trying to loosen it up a little bit. I'll take a pair of tongs and flip it over in the boiling water and really make sure that all the parts are submerged. I'll add some ice to a bowl of cold water. As you can see, I still make my ice the old fashioned way. Then I'll place my gooey duck clam right into the ice water bath. So that just allowed us to boil this for a minute and then cold chalk it, which halts the cooking process in order to not let it overcook. Now this next part's gonna look a little weird, but we have to do it. I'll remove my gooey duck clam from this bowl and place it out on my cutting board. By now, my skin should be really loose. You can see on many parts that it started to cinch up a little bit. I can pull it back really far, which is a great sign. Starting at the tip, I'll begin to pull back our skin, which will uncover that beautiful beautiful, clean bit of clam. When I get to the base of the clam itself, it'll pull from all the way around and I'll pull it all the way back, almost like a snake shedding its skin. It just keeps going and going. Now with this long piece of whatever it is, you can throw that out. You're not gonna need this again either. Now we'll make a nice clean cut at the base shaft of our clam. This tongue looking piece right here can be used for chowder and things like that. So I'll reserve this off to the side. And now we're left with the actual gooey duck piece itself. We want nice and thin, clean slices of this. That's a really great size for a sashimi piece. I'll cut just a couple of these and lay them right down on my plate. Just like something like an oyster, we want these to be served really cold. They're crisp, like a cucumber. Something like this should be a perfect serving. For the rest of this piece, we'll toss it aside for later. For a garnish, I'll add a little bit of this homemade chili crisp oil I made recently, which will give a nice kick and a nice crunch. Then just a clean little squeeze of Meyer lemon and just a few chopped chives across the top. And I can't believe we almost forgot a little of my homemade flaky salt. And now our dish is complete. I'll take a bite and as usual, guide you through what a gooey duck clam tastes like. I've had these before, so I'm not scared, but I can see why if this were the first time you were having this, you might be a little on edge. Cheers. Mm. Woo. I get that kick from the spice. The overall flavor is like a cucumbery clam. When you bite into it, it almost pops. It's chewy and crunchy at the same time. When it's fresh, it has a texture that I don't really know how to describe, but it's a good one. And it's one that you can't really get from any other food item I've ever tried. Now, when I go through the process of eating this, my mouth is first coated with the really fatty chili oil. When I bite down, I get that crunch from the gooey duck clam itself and from the shallots and garlic that are all crispy in there. Then once in a while, I crunch down on a morsel of flaky salt that gives long lasting salty flavor 
flavor that goes perfectly with this clam. And the chives along with the Meyer lemon juice help to brighten up the entire dish. If you have the chance to try a gooey duck clam, please try it. Don't let the really crazy look of it scare you. It might be a little intimidating, but it's not that bad. But the flavor is what's really important. As always, please like, subscribe, comment. I'm reading through all the comments every time and I'll make whatever you guys want me to. It's really fun for me to see what you want me to cook because it's all for you. I'll see if I can go finish the rest of this gooey duck by myself. What? It's really good.